Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. I have 24 bread and butter bolos for you. I feel like I have a hair. Now you get like that. <laughs> 24 bread and butter bolos for you. Uh, these are items that I sold on eBay. They sold faster on eBay. They were also cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I picked these items up at garage sales, thrift stores, um, estate sales, stuff like that. Uh, sold for $35 or less is what I consider bread and butter. So we are going to get started. I'm going to go through. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Do you guys see that hair? It's on this side. I can't find it. <laughs> um, okay, so where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now that, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. All right. This is not a good first impression if this is the first video you're watching. All right, let's get to the bolos. All right, screen share up. And the first item is this Fisher Price Little People Disney Princess Jasmine and Aladdin. They're just little cute little people and I have tons of these to list, but these two were in a separate tote, so I went ahead and listed them. And I sold these for $12.29. The buyer paid shipping and they sold really fast. The next item I sold is this Disney Parks Perry the Platypus push, push, plush, and it makes like a chirping sound when you push the button. And um, this sold for $18. I got it at a garage sale for $1 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Veggie Tales Larry the Cucumber. He is a finger puppet and he's from the Veggie Tales show. It's a Christian based um television program they have like movies and stuff like that and they're hard to find and they're um they're a good bolo this is a bread and butter but i have a really huge bolo um big money bolo veggie tales that's in another video so you're definitely going to want to check out my big money bolo videos unbelievable what it sold for and i actually bought it with this one that's why i'm thinking of it this guy sold for 14 dollars and um I probably had about 50 cents in them and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these TY Jingle Beanie Babies. So there's one that's a gingerbread that's in another video and I sold it for $14 by itself plus shipping. And when you shake them, they jingle. If you go over to my um, Instagram page, it's bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers and that hair. And, um, I show you what they do. Like I have a video of it, but it's kind of funny because everybody thinks that these TY back in the day, they were really collectible and some of them went for pretty decent money, but you will see on eBay, um, people selling, it shows that they sold for like thousands of dollars. That's, that's just not true. Um, so be careful. Tw or, what did I sell these for? 28, $28 for six of them. That to me is like a big TY bolo. You know, they just don't sell for much. So I was pretty excited about this one. I would not have bought these, but they were in a mystery box. So I went ahead and listed them. The next item I sold is this Noma Kringle Town Collectibles. It's an elf on a stump. And I think it's for like, um, like the little village sets that people have. I think that's what it's for. It sold for $12.74. The buyer paid shipping. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a quarter. This guy, he is a, a WWE Wrestling Rings giant. I really don't remember where I got him. I think he came from a garage sale when I bought like a ton of stuff and he sat in my basement for a long time. That's what I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I sold him for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, I picked up in, um, it was at a YouTube auction. And it was on Donatella Bodolino's channel or T's channel auctions for you. I can't remember, but Donatella was selling it. And I bought, I can't remember how many, how many, I don't, it was more of a high end lot. I can't remember how many necklaces. It was like 70 or $80 that I spent, but it ended up being that I had $8 in this necklace when I broke it all down. But some of the other ones are higher end that I have listed higher. But this one sold the fastest. Fastest. I sold it for $33.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm like a third of the way to making my money back. And this was one of the, um, the ones that I listed at a lower price. So it was a great lot. She's got really beautiful um, stuff that, that she sells. And she does buy it now and auctions. And I will link 
down below in the description, Donatella Bodolino and Auctions for You. Um, just scroll through the description and you'll find links to their channels. Great reseller lots, definitely. So this little ornament is like a book and I talked about this in another video. I picked these up at a garage sale in a bag of um, little books and they sell really good. So if you ever see these, definitely pick them up. This one sold for $18.03, the buyer paid shipping and I've got probably 25 cents, maybe 50 cents, I don't know. I can't remember what the exact breakdown was. It may even be less. So definitely be on the lookout for these. And this one is from 1978, so that's pretty old. The next item is this Boyd's Bear. I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold him for $12.29 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is Emma M. Sweet Stuff from 2003, a Hallmark exclusive Boyd's Bear. So this is a Hallmark 2011 Magic Cord Ornament. I had no way to test it because I don't have the additional thing that hooked the power source. So this is untested. If it would have been tested, I would have listed it higher. I sold this for $14.60 and it came in a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People Robin Hood Pop Open Castle Set. It's like a little take along. It opens up like this, super cute. I picked up a bunch of Fisher Price stuff at a garage sale, probably have a couple bucks in this. Sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's the, like I said, the Robin Hood. I got um, a couple princess ones also. So this is Jake and the Neverland cake figures. And I sold this for $12.30, picked it up at a garage sale. Buyer paid the shipping, probably have a less, less than a buck in this. The next item is this, um, it's a moon ornament. And this came in a mystery box. And this uh, mermaid ornament that I got at a garage sale. And somebody bundled those together for a total of $29.75 and the buyer paid $5 combined shipping. The next item are these Lane Bryant jeans, and these have been in my money pile, I call it, of stuff that I retail arbitrage, clothing items that I don't wanna list because I quit clothes, and I made myself list jeans one day. And I'm glad I did because these sold for $32.80 and the buyer paid shipping, and I have one pair left. If anyone's interested, the link to my store is down in the description. The next item I sold is this Crayola Create to Destroy Dino Destruction figure. It's like a Play-Doh toy, you guys. I looked it up and I'm like, eh, I can, you know, make 10 bucks on that. So I sold this for $12.30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this super sticker book. And I picked these up retail arbitrage. I think they were $1.99 each. And they've actually sold really, really well. Um, not huge margins, but uh, definitely bread and butter. Typical of um, RA, retail arbitrage. I sold it for $12.29. I have sold three. Um, the buyer does pay shipping on these. And yeah. The next item I picked up at a garage sale. And they put the tag right here and used black marker to write the price. So I got most of it out, but you can still see a little bit of a mark. So. I think I could have probably gotten 60, 70 bucks out of this had that not been there because it's really like, it's a puffer jacket, it's red, but I ended up getting $35 for this and the buyer paid shipping and I paid five bucks for it. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle set. It's incomplete, it's four replacement parts. And my husband picked this up at, let me see a garage sale for 50 cents and he had the box but we just listed it for like it is no manual no box i think the box was all beat up and i decided to auction it because i wasn't really sure what it was going to go for with the fact that it was just replacement parts but i did see this cape here um people list the cape for decent money just by itself so i figured an auction was the way to go it sold for $39.99, buyer paid shipping, and my husband was happy with that. Next item I sold is this Blu-ray Elf Christmas Vacation Polar Express. It's just a bunch of DVDs. It's brand new. I picked it up at a garage sale for probably a buck or less, and it sold for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Bowl. 
I, it's from 1998. I know nothing about it. I tried to to put it in different positions. I'm not sure if I did it right, but this sold for $19 and the buyer paid shipping and that came out of a mystery box. The next item is this cat's meow and it's Cratchit's house from 1998 and it sold for $14.07. The buyer paid shipping and this came from that cat's meow lot that I got at a garage sale. The next item is this TMNT, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie splinter figure. And it came in a mystery box and I sold him for $10.07 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage play skin by Dan Skin Tights. I sold these for $20 and I paid five for them. The buyer did pay the shipping. Um, I probably should have listed these individually. Um, let me show you here. They're different colors. I don't know. They were new old stock. I, I, I lotted them up. I took the lazy road. So don't be like me. List them individually. Oh, it's almost midnight. I said that in the last video. I was getting kind of goofy at the end and I'm like, <laughs> so I just made a bad joke. Oh man. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I told you earlier, I cross post my items. I use lists perfectly. I always tell you guys about it because you know eventually everybody's going to try it and they're going to be like why didn't i do this sooner you don't know how many people have told me like this is amazing i love it and i'm like i get that i love it too um if you want to try it you can try it and if you don't like it you just quit you know what i mean like get those items on other platforms and if you're manually doing it oh gosh definitely check it out um I do have a referral code. If you want to use it, it's Bolo Buddies, one word that'll get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And again, if you don't like it, you can quit. And if you love it, please send me a message and tell me how much you love it because I like to chat about how much I love it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And got some Instagram notifications. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter follow me on Pinterest. <laughs> All the links are down in the description and check out those YouTube auctions. Those are down in the description also. And just check out the description. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night.